Orochi, the Serpent King, descended from the heaven, using his demonic powers to warp time and space. He created a fusion between the Three Kingdoms era of China and the Warring States period of Japan. He then tested his might against the heroes of these ages. The armies of Wei and Wu broke before the might of Orochi's forces. The Shu army, too, fell to defeat and the whereabouts of many of its officers were unknown. One such officer, Zhao Yun, was being held prisoner beneath Weda Castle. Now under Orochi's control, driven to despair by the vision of his lord Liu Bei being struck down, Zhao Yun was given fresh hope by the sudden arrival of the hermit Zhuo Qi, bearing unexpected news. How long have I been here now? Time passes so slowly. With my homeland of Shu in disarray, I'm stranded here in some time and place I do not understand. Fear pervades all. Honor knows no place. And my lord Liu Bei is dead. Liu Bei lives still. Hmm? Lord Liu Bei lives. Is this true? But I don't know where he is. But it seems the news is enough to restore your spirit, my friend. Young Dragon, the time has come for you to fly once again. For your lord. Intruders! Kill the intruders! But first... We'd better shake off this tail. Go! <laughs> 
You have saved me. I was about to despair, but you have given me fresh hope. Only the loss of your lord would bring true despair. You must seek him out quickly. But we have no idea where to begin. We are too weak. Have faith, young dragon. There is strength in numbers. Together, you will have all the power you need. I must take my leave, but my eye will be upon you. Farewell. Thank you. But you know, I would have escaped on my own eventually. I am aware of the Code of Honor. Allow me to pay my debts by fighting for you. 